is it normal for there to be a pretty wide variation in sensitivity to light? And does this have anything to do with the lightness or darkness of the eyes? You have brown eyes, I have green eyes, but is there any real correlation there? Yeah. You know, it's a good question. I don't know if it's been formally studied, but I will tell you, like, I have the same impression you do, which is that if you have uh, blue eyes or light colored eyes, that you're more likely to have more sensitivity. We know that there's differences in the iris muscles that constrict and dilate in response to light. Uh, for example, when you go into your eye care provider and they're going to do a dilated exam and they put the eye drops in your eye that dilate the eyes, they sort of change the, the, the nerve impulses onto the iris muscles so that the iris dilates and you get those big big open eyes. Um, people with blue eyes, we absolutely know blue or hazel or light colored eyes. Uh, you put that eye drop to dilate their eyes, it's going to last four, six, eight hours. Whereas in a brown eyed person, often the dilation only lasts one, two, four hours. So there's clearly biological differences between the irises and their muscles and maybe the nerves that feed those muscles uh, between light-eyed people and, and darker-eyed people. Uh, and that may also therefore relate to this differential sensitivity that some people have. You know, if you're not able to constrict your eyes in the bright light as effectively, you're going to find that bright light more uh, frustrating, more annoying, uh, you know, even painful. People will feel like their eyes are cramping almost uh, as they try to get that those eye muscles to activate, to bring down the pupil and block some of that excess light from getting in.